Okay. Well, in Heather Gay's new book, Good Time Girl, she's talking about Monica Garcia. Not only about the Bermuda trip, but about Monica Garcia and Coach Shaw. You'll never guess who had an affair. You, you'll never guess who's jealous of Adele. Beyonce. It's a Wendy Williams quote. R.I.P. to Wendy Williams now that she's been legally incapacitated. Um, but so in the book, Heather Gay claims that, <sighs> I guess, Monica went to go meet Coach Shaw at a gas station, and it was at the gas station that Coach Shaw made a move and pursued Monica, and I guess he tried to kiss her, and she pushed him off. And Heather won't reveal how she knows this information. She says that she has a good source. I'm assuming the good source that she has is probably Tanisha, the hairdresser, the one that gave her the the screenshot timeline, receipts, proof, everything on Monica being reality bond tease. I think Tanisha's probably the same source here as well. Um... But yeah, do we believe that Coach Shaw tried to hit on Monica at a gas station? Why are we at a gas station? Doesn't everybody know like the only time you go to a gas station is one to get gas or two if you're hungry and want some sushi? Like have like is that what he want? He's like, oh, I'm gonna go. Okay, honey, I'm gonna go to the gas station and get me some sushi. I'm gonna have some Monica sashimi. Like. Also, if this is the most interesting part of Heather Gay's book, that like this is what they're releasing as the excerpt to promote the book. I mean, I guess it's getting us talking about the book, but like that's the best you got is a rumor that you heard from someone. Probably Tanisha. Who do we think was the, the source? Monica and Coach Shaw, I do have to say, they have both come out to deny, or the Shaws, a rep for the Shaws, both Jen and Coach Shaw. They have all said that, like, it's ridiculous and they don't like to pay attention to the rumors. And they don't like when people are talking about the rumors about them. So remember, yeah, weren't there rumors that Jen Shaw was cheating on Coach? And then there was a rumor that he had an affair with that one woman and then Jen showed up at her house. Remember that? That came up in the evidence against her that the feds. Found. Oh, sorry, guys. There's a little blip in the camera. Um, but yeah, remember that? That was a wild time. Wouldn't they admit it if it was true? Would they admit it if it was true? I don't think they would admit it if it was true. They would have, like, I don't, I don't know. I don't think that they would be honest with us and be like, yeah, there was really an, there was really uh, an affair. Like, that just would not, what do you think? I fell out of a coconut tree? No, they wouldn't come out and say it. But don't you remember the story of when, I forgot how, I think there were text messages or I think the woman came out and she's like, yeah, Jen Shaw showed up at my house and she was knocking at my door and she was yelling at me because I was having an affair with her husband. Or, no, or was Jen the one that was having the affair and the wife found out and so Jen approached the wife of the husband she was having an affair. Does anybody remember this rumor? I know I didn't make this up. I know I didn't make that. I remember reporting on it when it happened. I just don't remember the exact details. I just know Jen Shaw did show up at a woman's house. And I don't remember if it was a woman that Coach was having an affair with or if it was the wife of the woman that Jen was having an affair with because there were rumors that Jen was having an affair with somebody. And then remember the rumor that Jen Shaw was eating out Meredith at a steakhouse? That one was wild. So, yeah, Lisa paid for the Uber... And it stopped at some weird place. Yep, yeah, because then she got into a different Uber and that Uber took her to wherever she was going to have her affair. Yes, see, I'm not the only one that remembers this. Thank you. Was it Lisa that got the Uber or was it Heather that got the Uber? And Whitney knew about the Uber too, right? I don't know. Love at first pump. That's hilarious, Sharon. Um, maybe Coach wanted Monica's sashimi. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's possible. I think Coach maybe, I think that Jen and Coach Shaw maybe weren't the most honest. Um, and I think that they probably did a little philandering on each other. And Monica was obviously, listen, Mar Monica's a gorgeous woman that like, if you're already a, a bit of a cheater, I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if you're going to continue to cheat, you know. it's It's out there. It's available. The sashimi is ready. <sighs> so I would not be surprised if he did a hit on her. I'm surprised that Monica's not owning up to it, though. I'm surprised that Monica's denying it. 
But also, isn't that wild that like the most we're talking about is Monica and Coach Shaw and Jen Shaw. Meanwhile, the book is about Heather, but yet the most interesting to come out of the book is this rumored affair that probably Tanisha leaked. I don't know. I will say though, Heather Gay, despite, well, I mean, can we even trust or believe Heather Gay? Like, come on. Remember when she told us all the lies about the black eye last season or the season before? Like, can we trust anything Heather says at this point? And also, if you don't out your source or you don't have like actual receipts or details, like, you know, is there a photo? Was there a video? Like, how do we even know that this is true? How do we know that the person that told her this was true? Michelle says, because Heather has nothing to give of herself. She's willing to give us anything worthwhile. Remember when um, Whitney said something about how like Heather outed her in the last book. She's like, you you used my you know bedroom life to promote your book. And now it seems like she's doing that again. Cassie says, receipts or it didn't happen. Yeah, what would be, like we would need a photo. Like Tom at, you know, Tom D'Agostino, making out with the girl and Bethany had the photo. Like when Bethany revealed that Tom was cheating on Luann, she had receipts, proof, timeline, everything. She had a photo at the Regency of Tom with the mistress. So I need something a look. Michelle says she won't even reveal her real birthday for Pete's sake. There we go. Thank you, 